Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm sure everybody has heard the news that Kobe Bryant and his daughter and even other people who we don't know their names, they passed away today uh, in a helicopter crash in California. Let's take a moment to look at this through the scope of Al-Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, he says, وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah says, I have not created the jinn and the mankind except to worship me alone. Now let me be real with you. Kobe Bryant was, of course, anybody that's probably living has heard of Kobe Bryant. Especially me growing up, you know, basketball was one of the most important things to me. I played in high school. You know, I was a very good basketball player growing up. You know, I played in AAU teams. It was an extremely important aspect of my life. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I didn't have love for the guy. Of course, and I'm speaking about prior to Islam. But in the end of the day, this man spent 41 years of his life doing something that he had no business doing in the first place. Allah says, we cre I created the jinn, the mankind, to worship me alone. Did Kobe Bean Bryant ever worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah did not guide him. And he has a wisdom for that, subhanahu wa ta'ala, of why he did not guide Kobe Bryant to Al-Islam. We're not saying that he never did any good. Allahu A'lam, I don't personally know. Maybe he gave charity and maybe he did things and he was a good family member and he was a good father. Maybe all that's true. But the man did not do the reason in which he was put upon this earth. You were not created to be a basketball player. You were not created to be a singer or a rapper or an actor or a truck driver or this, that, and the third. You were created to be a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did you do that? No. So let's look at this through the scope of Islam. Is it saddening of course it's sad when somebody that i'm not saying that we know him personally of course but when you heard of a person throughout your whole life and he passes away and especially in a tragic thing like this it's not like a person died from old age a person you know dies with his daughter of course we're not saying that we have no sympathy of course it's a it's a it's a sad situation but do you have that same sadness when you think of the death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, do you have that same sadness when it comes to the death of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali and the Sahaba and the Tabi'een from the scholars of Islam? Do you have that same sadness when those people who dedicated their lives to the reason of which they were created, do you have that same sadness? If you don't, and if it's not even more intense, then look at your heart. If you're more sad, and we're not saying you can't be sad, that Kobe Bryant, that he died today, because it's, it is traumatic in, in the way that it happened. But look at your heart. When you read the biography of the Prophet وسلم, and the Salaf, and the great scholars of Islam, and the people of Khair and the Muslims who are being tortured and persecuted and killed in other countries, do you have that same sadness? Your level of grief and hazen and and upsetness, it should be more for the Muslims. Not saying you can't be upset about this. But do it in the correct manner. Kobe Bryant was one of the most famous people on the face of the earth. La shak wa la raib. He was more famous than me and you. He was more, he had more followers on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter than me and you. He had more money than me and you. He was more quote unquote successful than me and you. But what was the benefit of all of that? Yes. He made it 
to be a professional athlete. This is the majority of the youth. This is the dream. You want to be rich. The man was extremely rich. You want to be famous. I don't think anybody in the world, if you say Kobe Bryant, doesn't know the name. Winning championships, MVP, traveling the world. Ain al fa'ida. Where was the benefit of this? If you don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you don't have a tawheed, if you don't live your life with the purpose that you were created for, then everything else after that la yanfa'uka will not benefit you. Of course, we feel bad. For his family and his other daughters and his wife and his family that have lost somebody that they love. Because indeed, when you lose somebody that you love, no doubt it's hard for you. Especially yani, dying with your daughter on a way to a basketball game, no doubt it brings sadness to the heart. That's not the point of this. The point of this is do you have that same sadness? When it comes to the Muslims, when it comes to the Prophet ﷺ, when it comes to those Muslims who are being persecuted in foreign countries, do you have that same sadness? Are you crying over the death of a non-Muslim? But every single day on the news, you see your brothers and your sisters being killed over their faith. We have stories of the Sahaba, how they were tortured. How your own prophet, the things that he went through, bring in this religion to us. But you don't cry over that. You don't cry over that. You don't cry over the punishment of the hellfire. You do not cry over the punishment of the grave. You do not cry over your sins. You do not cry over the recitation of the Quran. You do not cry at the fact that you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night. You do not cry at the fact that you oppress people. You do not cry at the fact that you have unpaid debt with people. You do not cry at the fact that you've been Muslim your entire life and you've never been on Hajj and Umrah. You do not cry at the fact that you're a Muslim and you know nothing of your religion. You do not cry at the fact that you have taught your family nothing of this religion. You do not cry at the fact that you haven't did anything for this religion. But you cry over a non-Muslim. What is with you? All that fame that you think you have. It wasn't more than Kobe Bryant. All that money that you think that you have was not more than Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant probably spent more money in a day than all of us had made in a lifetime. All of the accomplishments that you think that you have and that you want to do, it wasn't more than Kobe Bryant. But what was the benefit? Wallahi, if you have Islam, you are more successful than that man. If you prayed Salat Wahid, just one prayer, you are more successful than that man. If you read one ayat, one letter, من كتاب الله سبحانه وتعالى, one letter from the Quran, Wallahi, you are more successful than that man. Even if you have no money in your bank account, even if nobody knows you, even if you're not famous, even if you have nothing, even if you don't have a helicopter, you don't even have enough money to get on the bus, if you're a Muslim, you are more successful than Kobe Bryant. So, of course, we feel bad for the family. But as Muslims, we have to look at this through the scope of Al-Islam. This man was not from the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did that for a reason. For a wisdom that he knows alone, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So do not question the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is not to be questioned 
about what he does, but you will be questioned about what you do. I want you to take a look of how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala kulli shayin qadir, he is able to do all things. Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam, he was placed into a fire. And this was not a typical fire. Rather, the people of this village, they took an enormous amount of time just gathering wood in hopes that this fire would be tremendous, that it would be burning, that it would be in more intensified than a normal fire. So they gathered this wood and they catapulted Ibrahim والسلام, in the middle of the fire. But what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to the fire? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kun, be cool and safe for Ibrahim. These people, they gathered wood to, tr to create a tremendous blazing fire. And all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said was, be cool and safe upon Ibrahim. And the fire did not harm him. Rather, it was cool for him. The more that they're throwing this, this wood in, thinking that it's intensifying, in reality, Allahu Akbar, it's only making it cooler for him. But look what happened to Kobe Bryant. When he was in that fire, and the fire department came, and perhaps at that time you're still alive, and they thought from the aql, it's a fire. We're just going to put water on the fire, but they did not know that the magnesium, that that chemical, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created in that particular gasoline that created that fire, that when it comes in contact with water, it intensifies and it becomes even hotter. As they're thinking, they're cooling it down. In reality, they were making it worse. Do you not know that Allah is able to do all things? Ibrahim, a man of a man of Tawheed, a prophet from the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a receiver of revelation, when they tried to burn him, and they thought that by gathering this firewood, they would make it even worse for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only said one thing, and it was sufficient for him. Be cool and safe, Ali Ibrahim. And look at the opposite. These non-Muslims, and they were trying to save their fellow non-Muslim from that which was decreed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They thought they were helping him in reality. They were making it worse for him. As that water was hitting that fire, in reality, it was only making it worse and more severe for him. Just like Kobe Bryant was not saved from that water, from those firemen and from those rescue people, you will not be saved on the day when it is your day to go. Your wife will not help you. Your children will not help you. The malaika upon your shoulders will not help you. When the qadr, when the decree of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, when it comes, it comes. It doesn't care what color you are, how rich you are, how famous you are, how young or old you are, it doesn't care about nothing. All it knows is the time is here and it doesn't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.